Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Here I am with one more error message from the local by Flywheel application. If you worked on the project uh, previously and exported it uh, uh, for some reason, possibly from a previous version of the, the local application or possibly uh, you know, from this, you had a backup or you just want to restore and work again with this and you import this into your application and uh, you come up uh, facing an error message saying that unable to import site error uh, says uh, destination already exists. If you face this problem uh, recently, continue with this video, and I will I will try to uh, point out the problems why this happens, and uh, um, I will uh, work on the solution how you can overcome that uh, problem. Just let your uh, project be imported and continue to develop uh, what you've been doing for your uh, business or for your client. So let's continue right from the beginning right now. Okay, so let's start right from the beginning so you can just see what is happening and how we solve the problem. We start with the local application and as you see that application is running well and fine if you just start a website and site load as normally as it should. So let's go back, close it up and let's try to import a project. I'll try to bring up this local site number six here. So as you say import this site, it start working on it now. And again, just say import site. And if you see that the progressing, uh, unzipping the file into the folder, maybe temporary folder somewhere. And now as you see, the, the file numbers are decreasing and as soon it reaches somewhere about eight to seven files or 10 files remaining, it will just hold on there for a while and now error message comes in. So yeah, this is the same message which we received previously. I, I did receive the message about three, four times and then I start digging around and I just found one of the forums, I believe it's possibly from the local by Flywheel community. Somebody had mentioned that uh, how to solve the problem and I just, I just decided to uh, make a video and just upload possibly it will be easier to follow, by, follow it step by step. So let us uh, quit that uh, error message and uh, try to solve it right from the beginning. Okay, so uh, let me tell you how this uh, problem started with me. I just recently updated uh, uh, the local application to the latest version, I think it was uh, 5.2.7. And uh, just before doing that, I exported all these, uh, uh, I, I had about few, five, six uh, test websites, uh, which I was just uh, trying to experiment on something. And after uh, exporting them, I just saved it on a temporary folder. And then I, after, uh, when I when my application was updated, I just tried to import it, and I start coming the problem. I start coming with the with the same uh, uh, error what we just had seen. Um, the problem what I realized there were there were, there were a few things. Um, you know, if you try to create a new site, uh, let's say uh, if we just say create a new site and say test one and continue and just do it as it is. Just say admin. And just give, go again, admin, and let the default email. And if you just say that uh, it is just working on the on the regular site. So if you try to create a new website with the default and basic minimum option selected, it will just create the site. And you can see that it is progressing and adding the site. And just very soon, yeah, it's adding WordPress. And you can just see that the site is almost ready. And here we go. You can just see the site is working and the site is running. If we just say view site, bingo, here we are. So site is launched. So that means it is functioning. So the question is why has why it has a problem with importing the site? So what I realized, all these sites which are having a problem for import, these sites were created with the one blueprint. Yes. If you know that we have a blueprint here, preferences and if you could just go into the blueprint so you can see that basic blueprint one all these six websites which had a problem um, actually shouldn't say six the first one was imported without any trouble the rest of these five websites were having the problem because I created them with the same blueprint so there was another website which was seventh one which I did create without the blueprint so that site did not have a problem. So I realized that the problem lies here with your uh, all these sites which you created with the blueprint. Okay, so we know the problem now. So let's see how we can get rid of that problem or maybe how can we solve the problem. So okay, for this, let's uh, uh, j just quit this uh, blueprint menu. And so let the app be here. 
let's go back where you have exported your websites. So in my case, I have exported my websites here. So let's say, for instance, uh, we'll take my local site number six. So what you do, just extract this website. This is a zip website. So extract this using any of the application you're using. I use WinRRR. So just say, extract this website here. Okay, the extraction is done. So close this zip. And now this is the folder where we had our extracted website. So let's change the name. So let the name be as it is, uh, just to, to see the difference. So just I add at the end, changed. Okay, and now in this changed folder, just open this file, open this folder, and you see that local site.json. I don't know if you can see the file extensions on your computer. If not, then you have to just uh, uh, unhide the, uh, the file extensions. But anyway, so this is the uh, file, which is uh, local uh, have fun site dot JSON. So we need to edit this local site dot JSON file. So for editing, just right click on it and open this with any text editor. I, I always prefer Notepad. So just, uh, uh, okay, uncheck this and just say Notepad. So as you open this with a Notepad, now here is the file which be very careful, don't do anything else, just accept these few changes which you have. So let's maximize it so you can just see it. So just move this bar and just try to find where is the path. So here you can see this area which can which just says path C uh, users and my, my, my computer name and the, this is the site. So this is the place where we are going to just do some, some change. So just be careful. Do not put any spaces there. Do not change any spaces there. So just what you need to do is just to change this last file name, which was, you remember that it was my local site six. So this is the name which we're going to change. So just uh, put here my sixth site. Okay. So my sixth site, just the name, no space, no uh, if you want to use any character, you can just possibly use hyphens or, or maybe underscore, but I would just say this flat name, whatever you want to put in it. So here, that's it. So just after changing this, control save. I mean, uh, uh, it says command save in, in the Mac. So just simply say control save, so it's saved. So just close it. Now, when you close it, just go back again to the root and then zip this file again. Okay, that's why we renamed it so we do not overwrite the existing zip file. Um, whatever the application you're using to zip the files, uh, I use WinRAR, so that's why I just right click on it and just go back instead of just saying add to my local, just say add to archive. And here you have the option to select the format, which format are you trying to, uh, to compress your file. So we'll select zip because local will import it from the zip file. So just clicking on zip and just say okay and it is uh, compressing the files, and here this file is almost done. All right, here. So you can just see that now you find another additional file here which says uh, my local site six changed. So this is the file which we're going to import, try to import it again in our uh, uh, local application. So let's head back to the local application. Here we are, let's go again, import site, and just select the one which we just had zipped with the name called changed. So let's import it. And now hang on there, just try to follow the regular procedure, import it as it is, just preferred method. Okay, so unzipping the files, just wait there. All right, just few files remaining. And if the error message will come, you will see that error message comes when the few files are remaining, like three, four, five, maybe eight, seven, eight files. So if these four files are being extracted, you will see it will progress. So it is progressing. So that means now it's uh, provisioning the services. So that means it is it completely worked. And it will definitely import the database now and uh, try to rename all the files which uh, uh, were possibly having the conflicts with the previous uh, import. All right, here we see that importing the database, local uh, uh, SQLs, and it seems it is almost done. Now changing the domain uh, uh, site domain. 
Bingo, here we go. So you can just see that site is almost working and it's, it's running. So just simply click view site and here is your site. And let's see if you can just see the login. Whoa, that beautiful login page. All right, so you can just see that our uh, import had work. I hope uh, this video was helpful for you. And if you think that uh, this is helpful, so please subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon so you can get uh, a notification to my next video, uh, which I'm actually working on right now. And uh, uh, soon you will be getting the, the next one.